Welcome back to another video on change of bases. We previously discussed about how to visually see and in detail how to work out examples like these in terms of finding the coordinates for a given coordinate and its corresponding bases from another set of bases. So we're just going to go ahead and do another one real quick before we start getting to the other examples. So again, we are given this time is going to be three, um, three, three elements. So we have X of B is two, three, one, it's transpose. And then we're given the base zero, not zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, and zero, one, one. And so we're asked to find x in terms of b prime or base b prime so the usual we gotta do the transpose and so that will just simply become the column vector 231 again this is our translator and so to find x b prime just gonna go ahead and use a short method. It's gonna be, it's gonna be with C one. Or actually, no. It's gonna be A B C, and we know it's gonna be C one A plus C two B plus C three C, and this is gonna be our A B and C. So it's gonna simply be C times not C, 2, 1, 0, 1, plus 3 times 1, 1, 0. And then lastly, it will be 1 times 0, 1, 1. Put them together, so you have 2, 0, 2, plus 3, 3, 0, then plus 0, 1, 1. And then you'll get your final answer as 2 plus 2 is 5, 0, 3, 4, and 2, 0, 1, 3. And I'm just going to put it in column vector. Remember, we have to put in our B prime to indicate that this is another basis and this is our answer so now we're just going to go ahead and get to the other portion of change basis all right so in this next example we are told to find the change of basis from b to b prime given two base um coordinates and so what we're effectively trying to do is find our translator And so what we do know is that 2, 5 from B can be written as a scalar, uh, not a scalar, a 2 by 2 matrix, which would be from B prime to 1, negative 1, 2 multiplied by some constants c1 and c2 and so what we can do is we could just put this in an augmented matrix and find what our c1 and c2 is and so we can what is an easier okay we can flip row one and two so we'll be having our our pivots in the diagonal already or our ones in the main diagonal five two and then we can subtract or zero this two out and so actually take that back mm. Let's zero this two out since we already have the negative one. All we have to do is add. So it'll be twice. 
So it'll be 4 plus 1 is 5. This would be 0, 2, negative 1 stays. 2, double. So this would be 9. And then now we can divide the top by uh, 5. And then multiply the bottom one by negative 1. So it'll be 9 halves and 2. Then lastly, we just add twice the first one, so you can get rid of that too. Be 9 halves, and this would be 0, this would be 1, and so this would be, uh, I can't do math anymore. 18 minus 2 times 5 is 10, 18 minus 10, 8, 8 fifths. So our C1 and C2 is equal to 9 over 5 and 8 over 5. So we figured out how to find this portion. Now what we have to do is find what, um, C, uh, I guess in this case, C3 and C4 will, when multiplied by this basis, will get 1, 2. So again, we could just go straight to the augmented matrix. So it'll be 2, 1, negative 1, 2. So the left side is pretty much the same. And so if it's pretty much the same, all you have to do is just the same process. Flip these two. Add twice the, the second one. So that'll be 5, 0, 2, negative 1. And then this case would be twice. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Yeah, this should stay the same. Divide by 5, multiply negative on the other one. So it'll be 1, 0, negative 2, 1, then 4 fifths, 1 fifth. And then lastly, you multiply by twice the first one, be 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 4 fifths stays the same. So it'll be double, which would be. 8 wait 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 i messed up i did not distribute the negative here okay negative there we go negative all right and why did i okay <laughs> this negative one fifth is not supposed to exist <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Negative. So negative 2, 1, negative 1. And then it'll be 8. So it'll be double. 8 minus 5, which would be 3 fifths. There we go. And so that is our C3, which is 4 fifths, and C4, which is our 3 fifths. And so our, our change of bases, our P, what is it from? B to B prime will be, now this part is important. This part is important because order does matter. Order makes a difference. Because we have, it is written as 2, 5, and 1, 2. This is going to be first. It's going to be second. So whatever we found on the first one is going to be on, on the first column, which would be 9 fifths and 8 fifths. And then the other one would be four fifths and then three fifths so order does matter and so this is going to be our our change basis so i'm going to go ahead and show you a much more quicker way and it, it is quicker because you can do these two steps in in all, all in one one matrix so it's like a two for one deal and the reason why is because as you can see on on the red on the first one we started off with 2, 1, negative 1, 2, then 2, 5. And then on the other one, we still had 2, 1, negative 1, 2, then 1, 2. So we can combine the, the right side because the left side will remain the same. The right side, it will, we'll just put it in the order that we were given. So in other words, we can, another way to find this is put it in 
augmented matrix. So the left side is like the usual because they're both the same. And then you put it in the order you were given. Because it was 2, 5, and then 1, 2? Or is it 2, 1? 1, 2, yeah. It would be 2, 5, then 1, 2. And so now what we have to do here is that you have to... Well, okay. Before we do that, to understand which side goes which, um, what, what I like about this type of annotation is because this can already tell you where to go. So this would be, if this was an augmented matrix, it would be like this. So we'll have our B prime here and then our B here. And so our goal is to find or not find, make this portion the inverse and then this will be our uh translator and so we, we can do that real quick because we we did the steps like two times already so we're just going to start off with with the flip five two two one and then go ahead and add so two that uh, remains the same. This would be five, this would be zero, and then this would be nine, two, one, four. And then we divide and then multiply by negative one. So this would be zero, negative two, one, nine fifths, four fifths, and then negative 2 negative 1 as you can see here we're already starting to get the formation 9 fifths 4 fifths that's what we had in our the answer and then lastly which is multiplied by it's uh multiplied by 2 that'd be 9 fifths 4 fifths this would be 0 this would be 1 and then this would be 18 minus 10 8 fifths and then this would be 4 minus, not 4, 8 minus 5, which would be 3 fifths. And as you can see here, we, we have our identity matrix here. Then we have our change of bases. So this is a much more quicker way because you could do two steps in one. So that would be the end of the video. We are going to do more examples on these. And obviously it's going to be like with more more points instead of the typical two the two five one two we can do one with three and then after that i will show you a little observation that you can do oh my oh that doesn't sound very nice <laughs> so yeah <laughs> well i'm gonna show you a little observation when it comes with a specific type of change of bases and then that will be pretty much it you for the most part you can i think for all the parts you can use this method instead of doing like the longer way so it'll be like much more efficient and it, like i said it, it's just a matter on how do you on where to put what or which ones do you put on which side so with the with the if they give you the form where it's like p from b prime to b all you can really do is just kind of like going upwards or you could like shift the entire place as you're sliding it down to the right so it's just kind of like so you're left with p b prime to b so that's one way to do it so it, it like notation like be careful with the notation order does matter so that is an important thing and we'll just i'll see you guys in in the next video with more of these examples